order to have days like this, you're going to have days like this. This is Tips on Tuesday. We're going to talk about what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Stay tuned so you don't feel like doing this. If you like these videos, please subscribe and give us a like. And if you have anything to add to the conversation or any questions, please leave them below. Doing the dishes, one of the things you have to realize is the water that goes in here drains into the bilge and is then pumped out into the ocean. But it first goes into the bilge. So what you try to do is you try to make sure that not so much crap goes down your drain because it just grows inside your bilge. So here's how we do dishes on Aquarius. So first, I rinse the dishes off in the sink. And if you look, all the, the water that's coming off this is going into a little bowl. So I just want to make sure I get all the crap off here I can. All the crap that's like this here that's sitting in the sink, I just pour that in. Just make sure that you, this is all cleaned up. And then of course, Anything that's left in the sink, I try to get all of that stuff off. So the other thing that you can do is when you're when you've got the dishes all dirty, you can actually take it take the um, like a napkin or something like that that's used. Don't use a new napkin to do this, but maybe a, a used napkin off the table. And what you do is you just wipe wipe the dishes off and that's another way to get all the the little bits off your plates. So and then of course this here we'll just put that in the trash. And we'll wash that as well. So once you get all the, the little scraps off then you just take this and throw it out into the ocean. Now we're ready to do some dishes. So the other thing on washing the dishes, you want to conserve as much water as possible. So what I do you put just a little bit of soap in there. The more soap you use, the more water you're going to have to use to rinse. And then I just do the dishes. And all the little bits, you try to get any little bits you can see so they don't go into your bilge. And that's the way we do dishes on Aquarius. You didn't wear your cute apron. Just a little bit about plumbing. On, on these toilets, they're electric. They pump everything out and then up and, up and over into a tank that's right back here. So what you want to do is you want to get everything out of that hose that goes up to that tank and you want to fill it with either all salt water or all fresh water. But what you don't want to do is leave crap 
inside that pipe. So when you flush the toilet, when you flush the toilet, you flush the toilet down, make sure all of it's out. And then once more, just a little bit, and then make sure that you add enough water if you're doing salt water that you actually will push all the crap out of that pipe. So that's what I do with mine. And that way the whole hose is now full of salt water, just salt water. There's no piss in there or anything else that can, can do some damage. So if you're leaving the boat for the, a while, what you want to do is you want to, since this is electric, what I'm doing is I'm putting fresh water in there. So now everything that's in contact with your the metal in your toilet is now fresh water. So you're not going to deteriorate while you're gone. So that's another thing you can do with your toilets. And no toilet paper in our toilets. Only stuff that comes out of you goes into the toilet. When you're taking a shower, you don't want to use that much water. You want to conserve water. Take your shower, wet yourself down, grab your soap, soap yourself all the way down, then shave or whatever you, you need to do, then rinse yourself off. Don't waste water. After you take a shower, you still have water, you know, make sure you turn the, the switch off here, then release all the pressure, then you're basically done. And what I do after I take a shower, I make sure that I dry certain areas above this, the areas above here, I polish the steel, I go over this and I dry it out, and then just polish up after the shower because it gets a little wet and I like to keep my bathrooms clean. So anyway, down here, underneath here, every month or so, you need to clean out all the hair and everything and uh, replace that. Down in the engine room, some of the stuff with plumbing and we have to take care of it when you leave. So what I do when I'm in here, I, I test my, my bilge pump to make sure my bilge is working. And because we're leaving, hey babe, can you turn off the air conditioning? All the switches for the air conditioning? We're gonna be leaving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shut off the intake for the air conditioning. And I'm going to shut off the intake. All the salt water intakes are off now. And that's so if you get a leak or something like that in any of these hoses, you're not going to be damaging your... Uh, well, you won't sink your boat as long as you have those off. The other thing I do right before I leave is I'm sending some water, fresh water, through our water maker. That's another plumbing thing you have to worry about. So we're gonna let that go for a little while, but everything looks okay in here. We got all of our water shut down, and we've got our bilge, and we're gonna empty out our bilge. Our bilge is empty. Now we'll turn that off and we are looking good in here. We're going to shut off our water so that uh, we don't have any water pressure. If you have a leak in the boat and that, that pump is on, all your water gets pumped out wherever the leak is. So we're going to shut that off. All the water from the showers, the sinks, go into the bilge. So once every three or four months, you have to completely clean out your bilge. Take out everything out of the bilge. 
the bilge pump switch and you clean it all up and also what I've put inside the bilge is I've got a float switch to an alarm and when it gets to a certain height and I can adjust that height the alarm will go off and so you want to tell your neighbors about that you want to make sure that they know your your boat's sinking one of the things the other things you have to worry about not so much with the Amel but other boats the way the hoses um, go through the boat you could get into a siphon situation where you pump water out but then it just sucks the water back in so you really have to think about that there has to be some type of an air gap at the top of the where the the water goes so that it will break that siphon so I actually had a problem I almost sunk Aquarius when I installed my bilge pump I didn't have a an air vent at the top of the hose and so it started a siphon so my bilge pump went off and I was laying in bed in in um, where was it it was in New Zealand and I heard the the bilge pump start to go and then it stopped and then just about maybe a minute later it started up again and so we had a siphon going back and forth now if for some reason your bilge pump stopped working and the siphon kept going then it would just fill you up with water and sink you in the night while you're sleeping so I heard that I got up and I made sure that I stopped the siphon and then the next day I installed an anti-siphon valve at the top of the loop and you probably should have anti-siphon valves on all the loops going that go into the water um, that could set up a siphon situation it's very dangerous some people think that it's important to have you know high water pressure on their boats I don't believe that is true I try to conserve water I don't want high pressure you know I had a friend with a you know, very high pressure water pump on his boat and he blew out some of the lines and then all your water gets pumped out wherever you blew the line and he did that twice I don't like high pressure water I like medium pressure water and that's what we have on Aquarius just medium pressure not high pressure so one of the unfortunate things you have to do every six months or so is clean the bilge the bilge is right here on the ML and we've already taken out the switch and we've power washed it then what you have to do is use your power washer to wash down inside if you like this video give us a like down below and click here to subscribe that really helps us and if you want to watch more of us click one of those